loves, it's Sam. So this morning I woke up with a really, really bad stomach ache. Normally, like we always eat, I always cook dinner and it's usually like, you know, for the most part, pretty kind of like non-salty foods. And then last night we went and got one of those like prepared um, like barbecue rotisserie chicken things from Sam's Club, like in the actual containers. I think like, you know, whenever you kind of go out somewhere to eat or if you like have a prepared meal that you didn't fix yourself, you know there's always like way more salt in it than you would normally put in yourself, or at least I don't salt our food very much. I think that's what gave me my stomach ache because I just like, I don't know, whenever I eat salty foods or things that I haven't made myself, like out to dinner or whatever, I just get a stomach ache. Like it's like, oh, I can't handle the salt. So yeah, I think that's what it was because I drank a bunch of water this morning and I'm feeling a little bit better, but my stomach just like doesn't feel right, you know? It's just like ick, sick, not good. Enough about my stomach. <laughs> I don't really feel like getting all glammed up today and wearing a snazzy outfit and wearing snazzy makeup. So I figured perfect time for me to do kind of like a really easy, natural makeup tutorial, but with like a slight kind of a little extra glamness. So if you do feel like, oh, I don't really have much time, you know, if you're just kind of not feeling like you want to just really do it all up, but you still have to look kind of, you know, presentable, then this is a really great way to do it. It's still kind of very natural, but I added like a little bit of sparkle so that you still have that little bit of like, woo. I hope you guys like this look. I've had a lot of people request kind of more like easy, everyday makeup tutorials, so I figured this would be perfect. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys had a great weekend, and I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, so I've already put my moisturizer on, and I have two little pimples. <gasps> Nuts, ah, that really sucks. Anyway, so I'm gonna put my foundation on. Um, I'm just gonna use my Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place makeup. I'm applying it with my Sigma F80, and I'm just gonna put that, just buff it all over my face. So I just did like a light coat of that. It still covers everything I need it to. Oh, I always forget to bring a towel in here. And then I have foundation all over my hand. Oh, so annoying. I'm gonna take my Instant Age Rewind Under Eye Concealer in Fair from Maybelline. Just, I just got mine on eBay. Um, so if you're having a hard time finding it, maybe just try eBay. It just is so great for underneath the eyes because it blends and it doesn't go in your creases at all. It's so nice. So I'm just taking my Sigma P86. I'm just gonna blend that out. Now I'm just gonna apply my Too Faced Shadow Insurance on my eyelids. All of the snow has finally melted. I'm so excited. Literally, it like snowed, I think like three weeks ago or something, and it's just now melted, like this weekend. Because it was so cold for a while, it just like took forever to melt. And it was all slippery and pooish. And I heard the birds chirping this morning outside when I took Moomi, and I was like so excited. Like, yeah, hopefully it's gonna be spring soon. I mean, I know we still have a couple of months, but whatever. I just hate the winter. Okay, I'm gonna apply my eyebrows, which is just my MAC Lingering Pencil. And then I always just brush them a little bit first because they get a bit wonky sometimes. Okay, I'm using a different bronzer than I normally use. This is a cream bronzer. It's from Fusion and it's called Goddess. And it just looks like this and it, it basically is just kind of a cream bronzer. I don't know, I've never actually used one before, so. I'm just applying it with my F15 from Sigma from the um, the Cities Collection in London. And I'm just gonna basically start putting that right into the hollowest part of my cheeks. Oh, I like that, that's nice. It actually blends out quite nicely. I thought it was going to be like this big horrible streak. But it's actually quite um, subtle. So that's always exciting. Yeah, I like that. Cool beans. Okay, for my blush, I think 
I'm gonna use my, I'm gonna stick with a cream product again. This is my Josie Marin, I don't know how you say her name properly, the Argon color stick, and the color is Petal Pink, and it just looks like this, it's just like a big huge stick. I'm gonna use the same brush that I used, and it smells really kind of like, um, it smells like tea tree, actually. You know, from the body shop, the tea tree, like, um, is it cream? That's what it smells like. I used to use that when I was a kid. <laughs> so I'm just going to kind of apply that on the backs of my cheeks. I still have foundation and concealer on my hand. That's delightful. For my eyes, I'm just going to use, um, this is my Urban Decay Cream Shadow. The color is Rehab. I don't think that you can buy these on the website Urban Decay anymore, so you might have to try and look on like Amazon or eBay for them, um, because I think they discontinued them. Luckily I got them when they were all on sale on Urban Decay, but um, I don't know. I think they're all gone. So I'm just going to blend that out with my finger. I'm just going to use my Lorac uh, Negligee eyeshadow, and this is the E55 from Sigma. For a little bit of kind of like extra, I'm just going to take my Lorac and uh, shake it up. This is the Liquid Luster. I'm just going to take a tiny little bit on the back of my hand, just like that. And then with my finger, just kind of apply that just over that um, cream shadow that you just put on. And that's just going to kind of give it a little bit of like oomph so that you feel like, ah, oh, that was so easy, but someone's going to be like, wow, what'd you do, you glossy little shimmer head? And you're going to be like, oh, nothing. It was so easy. I'm just gonna take my uh, Smoky Lash from Makeup Forever mascara. This is nice when you're kind of just wanting to do something a little bit less, you know, whoa, because you only have to do like one coat. It's quite quick. Now, of course, if you don't like sparkles, then don't put the, look, the liquid luster over. You could just leave it with the, the cream shadow and you'd be good, but I just wanted something a little bit extra and it literally just takes a couple of seconds, so. Okay, so there's the eyes done. It's just, you know, kind of a really, it almost looks like it's a glossy lid because of the sparkles, but you know, just a soft kind of brownish sparkly look. As my highlight, this is also from Fusion and this is called Goddess. Oh my gosh, there's gonna be a really wonky glare. Um, but this is what it looks like. And it's basically just a kind of like shimmer powder. So I'm just gonna, okay. You just basically, I don't even know if it's coming out. I'm just using that as my highlight, but I honestly, I can't even see if it's coming out. <laughs> oh good, it did, okay, cool. So it's just kind of like a loose little kind of gold sparkle. I wouldn't necessarily call it a highlight, but it does give you just like a really kind of pretty, um, it'd probably be really pretty on the neck too, actually. Yeah, it gives just like a really pretty sparkle. Pretty, very subtle. Okay, for the lips, I'm just gonna take my Maybelline Baby Lips in Peach Kiss. My lips are so dry today. Ah, oh, it must be really dry outside because I woke up this morning and my lips were like cracked. The writing has worn off, but it's from Dr. Janess and I think that's on QVC, pretty sure. And I don't know like what the color is or anything. It's just like a really, very kind of, um, I think it's her plumping gloss or something, but it makes your lips really, really soft. It's got like a lot of really moisturizing, like, I don't know, 
properties in it or something. But it's just kind of like a nice nudish color. But I like to use it when my lips are really dry. Uh, and I, I don't want to like, you know, have to wear lip liner or anything because it does makes your lips look a little bit bigger. And it just gives like a really pretty, like nice natural kind of glossy color. And it's not like, it doesn't taste bad or it's not sticky or anything like that, so. And then last but not least, I'm just gonna use my Scandinavia Makeup Finishing Spray. Um, especially because I did spray that loose kind of shimmery powder. Uh, that'll just kind of help make it like stick to your skin a little better and stay rather than just kind of like flying off in the wind or something. Do you know what I mean? Natural but glam makeup look. I don't really know what to call it. I don't know. It's just easy and and kind of simple but still like pretty. I don't know, whatever. So I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see the sparkles. Can you see them? I don't know. Anyway, that's what it looks like. I will try to remember to put pictures on my blog. If you're wanting to know how I did my hair, I literally went to sleep with it wet. And so it was like all crazy and wonky and then I just stuck it up in a ponytail. So I don't really know how to show you how to do it because you have to have crazy hair in the beginning, I think. So thank you so much for watching. Bye.